Greetings, Grapple fans! It's Mike Quackenbush with a very recent match held at the Wrestle Factory earlier this month. There, we saw an outstanding tag team contest that pitted the Hermit Crab and the Cajun Crawdad against the Throwbacks. And you can enjoy it. Complete this free match Monday, courtesy your pals at Chikara. <laughs> Mr. Touchdown, Mark Angela Setti and his step cousin in law, Dasher Hatfield. The throwbacks, they are former Campeones de Parejas. And I think, in particular, today's match will give Dasher Hatfield a chance to set the record straight. Because up in New England, he was defeated by the Hermit Crab in a match that I know he feels was a fluke win. Now, the Hermit Crab tells it a very different way, and it's really contributed to his confidence. So too did the fact that the Crab and the Crawdad together eliminated Dasher from the Infinite Gauntlet match back in May right here at the Wrestle Factory. And their confidence has been soaring since taking these two wins over one of the most seasoned and popular members of our roster. And it's one thing to come into the Wrestle Factory full of confidence because most competitors on the roster do. And you need that to excel in professional wrestling. But the Crab and the Crawdad that are really going to have to back it up in the ring. When it comes to tag teams active on our roster, Dasher and Touchdown are about as good as any you are going to come across. And the fact that they're former campeones kind of tells the tale. Dasher Hatfield looks like he wants to start this one out, and that does not surprise me at all, knowing how he feels about the Hermit Crab and the Cajun Crawdad. Dasher is eager to get locked up with the Hermit Crab. He's going to go right behind from that waist lock. Throws an underhanded pitch into the sternum of the Hermit Crab, and he's going to keep trying to put himself in a position to avoid the pincers. The Crab loves to exploit pressure points. So does his tag team partner. And look at this. I think Dash is going to try and flash on her. He's going to see if he can't steal a win immediately and maybe even embarrass the rookies a little bit. Teach him a lesson. Woo! That back body drop was all power. Sometimes you see that done all form. Sometimes you see it done all leverage. That one was all power. Dasher Hatfield, maybe going to go out and surf a little bit. He's got the Romero special. And here comes Mr. Touchdown. Woo, short little bulldog there. The Crawdad had no method of defending against that. All of his limbs were trapped in the Rito Romero special. La Tapatia, as it's sometimes known. There was no way he could protect against that bulldog of Mark Angelicetti. And now it's a very powerful Mr. Touchdown graduating from an arm ring to a hammerlock to a side headlock. But it's the Crawdad who tried to push his way out and couldn't do it. Angelicetti too strong. Belly to back suplex. Angelicetti still hasn't let go of that headlock. He can drop him flat on his back. But Mr. Touchdown is simply so powerful especially in the upper body. It's going to take more than that to get out of that side headlock. Finally, the crawdad is free, but he is not in control. Woo! Great counter-wrestling on the part of the crawdad. Had that one well scouted, and Angela said he favorite is that splash. All he had to do was bring his knees up. Contact with the midsection and probably the short ribs of Angela Setti. It'll drive the wind out of your lungs. How quickly the pendulum in this one has swung in the favor of the crab and the crawdad. Earlier you heard me allude to the way he likes to exploit pressure points. That is precisely what the hermit crab just did. Now in the last 45 days, Mr. Touchdown suffered a mild stinger and maybe hermit crab is well aware of that. It was certainly the talk of the locker room for a few weeks. 
Picking up a win over somebody like Mr. Touchdown is a huge feather to be put in your cap. And we saw at Anniversario, a couple of very talented competitors tried, and they could not get the better of Mark. Double hip toss to the throwbacks. We're going to put together some of their famed tandem offense. Look at this. Double headbutts. Going to string him up. What's he looking for? The Mexican rolling pin. Hermit Crab came out the back door. Dash or Hatfield has really had good success in this match by smothering his opponent. What I mean by that is keeping the offensive moves on top of each other so they don't have a chance to catch their breath. Solid shot to the midsection. Stopped the Hermit Crab right in his boots. Picking him up. Maybe looking for a favorite of his, the Cyclone Neckbreaker. No, Hermit Crab snuck right out. He got away from it. Hermit Crab making the switch. Woo! Took him up like a vertical suplex, but brought him down like a neck breaker. And the back of Dasher's skull hit his knee. Look, that's a rough way to come down from that position. Hermit Crab rids the ring of Mark Angela, setting to clear the way for Cage and Crawdad's favorite combination. This is a gator roll. Front rolled headlock. He uses this to disorient his opponents. Puts him right in the middle of the ring. Take a look at this move from the Crawdad. Screw underneath. Setting up the Hermit Crab for his pet maneuver. The second rope crab walking elbow follows the underscrewed suplex. Dasher had the good sense to get out of Dodge. Hermit Crab swung wild. Angela said he gets stopped in the dead center of the ring. Both these teams are really wrestling outstanding contests back and forth. What are they thinking here? Oh, look at how Touchdown's countered this one. Very smart move on the part of Mr. Touchdown. There is no way he could be suplexed from that position. Oh, look at the power of Angela Setti. He just drove two tackling dummies back into the corner, and those dummies were named Crab and Crawdown. Woo! Mark Angela Setti, the one-man wrecking crew today. Crab and Crawdad were ready for it. Third time was not the charm for the exploding of that pressure point. Man, Dasher just sent Hermit Crab crashing out of the ring. Look at Mark go! Twisting plancha from the middle turnbuckle. Dasher Hatfield's ready to add to the pile. He loves that baseball slide. Weaves underneath. He's got him. The Crawdad is up. Maybe it's Liger Bomb. No, he went out the back door. Double leg Nelson. Woo! The Cajun Crawdad stole a three count. Mark Angela City arrived on the scene just a second too late. The Crab and the Crawdad have really made a statement here at the Wrestle Factory. Maybe it was no fluke. This is the third time they've gotten the better of the old-timey King of Swing.